Hey everybody, it's Sock Sunday Shop Talk. Sock Sunday has come to an end. I got most of what I wanted to do today. I got a lot of editing to do in a short time. So I'm gonna have to try and make this as short as possible. First of all, I was able to get out of my box and was able to go downtown with my wife for a little bit. St. George Street. It was cool, hardly any people. That's the way I like it. We got what we had done. I was able to pick this up finally after three years of looking at it in the store. And it works. Uh, you saw it holding a knife. Well, let's see here. Uh, well, here. Show it again. Well, it goes this way. Not wasting time on shop talk. Anyway, I showed you guys. It folds around this way. It was kind of like a display. I'm gonna take it in my knife room. I just think it's, I just think it's badass. I really do. I just think it's, I just, I love it. I absolutely love it. Okay, do it this way. I love it. All right, so I got, I got the hand. This is going inside too. That is really nice quality wood. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? The wrist, everything. Okay, and then I got this. That's going to be a lot of help. This came by Amazon today. That's for helping me do my scales. All right. I was able to do, uh, I was able to tweak out. I'm going to put this back in my pocket. That's what I carry today. I was able to tweak out my customized SOG no-name folding knife that I worked on yesterday. I tweaked it out a little bit better and I'm really pleased with it. I really am. I mean, I, what you see is what you get. But I really like that worn, uh, kind of a patina canvas micarta. Uh, this was a job. I've got it now, even after I showed it this morning, I went back and did a little bit more sanding. Just a little bit more. Actually, I did it after I got back from downtown because I was fidgeting around with it while my wife was looking at some stuff. So I had to go fidget it. Yeah, right out there in the street. But yeah, this is a fantastic knife. I, I just, I'm pleased with everything about it. So this is in my top favorites of my customized. I did another folder, so I got three folders in. Uh, I'm going to take a break. I got an exciting one to do at the end of the week. Uh, sometime, maybe sooner. I'm so excited about it. It's going to be on a BPS knife. And uh, if the pattern stays as I sanded, it's going to be one bad looking knife. You know what I'm saying? So this is this is uh, kind of uh, my weekend uh, accomplishment. Didn't get to work on the house today. It's sprinkling right now. Okay, so I'm gonna put that. I'm carrying that in my left pocket. I'll probably carry it tomorrow in my left pocket. Tomorrow is my car to Monday, but I won't be at work. I'm gonna be here. Got to go to Lowe's and get my stuff. Okay, I was able to do something real important. One, when you see it, you're gonna laugh. I know you're gonna laugh. There's gonna be some uh, comments probably, and that's okay because I'm learning on here every single day. And I watch uh, bushcrafting people. You guys are fantastic. Uh, I, I, you guys get out there and you know the whole works. Well, I was asked a couple of days ago, I hope it answered this question, if I could uh, feather stick with the partial serrated part of the knife. So I did the video. Y'all see it. So this was the uh, result of that mess. I hope it answers the question. I, I think I did it pretty good. I mean, what I got there, I'm going to get a fire started. I can tell you that right now. That's no problem. Uh, what do I choose? Uh, partial serrated over the, the straight edge? I would say straight edge for feathering. But it depends on what I needed that straight edge for, you know. I'd say go with straight edge. But partial serrated does it. Okay, y'all know how I feel about partiated. What else did I do? Oh, I was asked about a couple of weeks ago. I just now got to it. I apologize. The Pentagon FX. 
blackout and the Picon FX covert blackout. Not necessarily the colors, but they were asking about the scales. You know, why? What's the point? It's another gimmick. It's not. I please ask you guys to go to the SOG site, the website, the pros, and go to their site, and this is listed in their professional series. And this is made for law enforcement, military. This is serious business right here. This is a dagger. These are dagger knives. Here, I'll take the short one. Okay, so I was able to do an overhead shot of me removing the scales. And then I came up with this brilliant idea. I try throwing it with the scale and without the scale. So I was able to do a short and a throwing video. And I think it came out all right. I hope so, because it was starting to rain. So I got that accomplished. And then the other thing was I got to show off my Kikus. Okay. So I might, the only thing I got left now, I got to hurry. If I have time, I'm going to do a short on two Kikus. I'll just let y'all know now I'm going to do a short on the uh, Blackout limited edition and the large one. If I can, I got to really hurry. Y'all take care. I enjoyed it. It was a good SOG day, uh, especially after yesterday, five hours on this folding knife. But was it worth it? Absolutely. I feel like, actually, I went into some nice stores today while my wife was doing her shopping. I went in a couple of nice shops I go to downtown. And you know what? I didn't need one or want one. Nothing really did anything for me. I couldn't see spending 60, 100 bucks. I saw a couple of knives. Yeah, it was 100 bucks. And I just remember what I had in my pocket right here. A low budget, customized SOG folding knife, my card of scales. Yep. That did it. I hear the dogs. That's not a mail call. Y'all take care and SOG out.